Hello to all you lovers out there. Hola. It's another episode of Ask Juan and G. And I'm G. I'm Juan. And this week's question is a long one, but it's a really good story. I think you'll like it. So, okay. so yeah. Okay, it reads, I have a slight dilemma with one of my straight friends taking up the man space. We have worked together for the past two years and been friends for the same amount of time. He has a girlfriend but spends all of his free time with me. After work, we go for drinks and usually he's at my house Friday to Sunday. So, his man friend, mm -hmm. right, straight friend is spending the night most weekends from Friday to Sunday. That's what it sounds like to or, me. Maybe not spending the night, but just there during the day a lot. He's usually at my house from Friday to Sunday. That sounds like, well, He's maybe not, gay. but. He's adamant that I understand that he is not gay and that he would never be interested in dating a man. He knows that I'm gay and that I have hopes of one day being in a committed relationship. My issue with this entire situation is he will not give me any breathing room to pursue a relationship outside of our friendship. Although friends the past two years, he has been sending me mixed signals by the way he hugs me, kisses my neck, and occasionally sneaks a feel of my perfectly round ass. Sounds real straight to me. Ha! Um, our family of friends call our friendship a bromance with a twist, but I think it's more. Our friendship is very complicated because I am so physically attracted to him, but I can't move beyond the I'm straight brick wall that he has up. He would be my ideal partner. We get along together. We know each other's family. We remember each other's birthdays. We have date night each week. We drive each other's car and he encounters, and if he encounters an issue that he can't resolve on his own, he won't let anybody help him but me. We are perfect with the exception that he keeps saying he's straight. At first, I wasn't, I wasn't nervous about, uh, uh, excuse me. At first, I wasn't nervous about being around his girlfriend. And most of the time, we have fun at the club, family cookouts, and so forth. But recently, he's been making me nervous with the way he looks at me when he's being affectionate with his girlfriend. Or if we're all in the same room and I somehow leave to go out and talk on my cell phone, he follows me outside to see who I'm talking to. Wow. His actions have made his girlfriend start to question the depth of our friendship, especially after he got into a big altercation with a coworker who he thought was making a pass at me. <laughs> True enough, I was interested in the guy, but we were only talking about the possibility of us going out on a date. My friend happened to walk up while the new guy was whispering to me to follow him to his car to get his phone. My friend went berserk. There was pushing and shoving, derogatory statements made, chairs flying, you name it. It happened in the span of five minutes. I thought we were all going to get fired because this happened at the home of our company president. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now, the friendship between us has become awkward and very much estranged. I felt he embarrassed us all and could have gotten us all fired. For the past two months, I have not spoken to him at work or accepted any of his calls, even though he has apologized for his actions and continuously leave voicemails that he misses me. I feel bad that we have to work together like strangers, but $100,000 a year is too much money to jeopardize over foolishness. Please tell me what you think. What's up to all you lovers out there? It's Juan and G. <laughs> and we thought this was a great opportunity to encourage all of you lovers out there, all of you lovers out there, to take, go deeper into your relationship and take part in the Emory Strong Together campaign. Yeah, you know, oftentimes, you know, you worry about your physical fitness, your six-pack abs, mm -hmm. your bulging biceps, but once you get into a relationship, you know your sexual health kind of takes a back burner for some people. And we want to send a message out to you to let you know that sexual health is just as important as your physical fitness. Exactly. So take responsibility for each other's health, go deeper into your relationship, and go to StrongerTogether.us and take part into the campaign. And if you're eligible, you could even receive $80 for your time. Once again, that website is StrongerTogether.us. That's StrongerTogether.us. Go deeper. Peace. <sighs> That's a lot of stuff going it on. It is. It's so Lord much Jesus. stuff. I wish I had some that I was writing down. I need to go back to the first. So, <clears throat> I, you, you say this situation is complicated, but it's not that complicated at all if you ask me. Um, it's, it's confusing, <laughs> but it's not complicated. Yeah, and you say that this guy is not 
allowing you free time like he has no control over your free time right you control your own free time so you're not allowing yourself to have free time to go pursue other people because apparently you're so caught up in this guy or at least you were right now you're not talking but you were very caught up into him still i think um you guys were having a relationship with yes he is in the closet obviously yeah. on the dl yeah has some issues to work with because he he can't why don't even say he's on the DL? Because that would that would insinuate he, but he's saying he's not gay. Oh, but that's that saying he's so. sleeping with other men and he's not. That's true. At least we don't think he's, he knows. He's anything. confused, I think, about he's struggling with that his sexual mm -hmm. identity. And mm -hmm. we can say that at the yeah. least. Yeah. Um, because these actions, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't care how tight two friends are. These type of things don't happen. Right, when he hugs you, kisses you on your neck, and and sneaks a feel of your perfectly round ass. <laughs> like <laughs> the, all of those, your gut is not leading you in the wrong way. Right, he, he's definitely into you. Right. However, I think it's confusing because number one, he's sending, he's saying he's straight and he has a girlfriend, and it's it's a it's a dangerous relationship to continue. So I'm kind of glad that the fight happened because it kind of right. woke you up. Right. I don't think you should continue that friendship in right. the same manner because it's n it's only going to end in in turmoil. It's only going to fuck shit up more in your life, in his life, in her life. Mm -hmm. it, it's not going to end well until yeah. he can come to terms with who he is, his sexual identity. Yeah, I mean, you definitely can't control anything that he's doing. Um, the situation with him and his girlfriend is a whole other situation. Yeah. He needs to write in and get some advice on that. Um, and you know, it, like the way you were saying how he looks at you while he's giving his girlfriend affection and stuff, like I'm playing that in my head yeah. and it just seems very messy and devious of him mm -hmm. on his part to do that. So, I, you know, you guys are friends right now. I think it should stay that way. I do think that you can have, at least have a, con you can still have a conversation with him, accept his apology so you can move on from it mm -hmm. and so you can clear the air. But definitely leave the situation alone. I don't even think it's even healthy for you guys to be friends. I agree, because it's, it's almost like you're his mister. I, I mean, yeah. Except for mistress of, as a man. W without the sex, but he's he's getting some fulfillment in yeah. that relationship. He's spending more time with you than he does with his girlfriend? Right. That's ridiculous. Like, I don't know that I would, like, I would question who he is as a person, if he's neglecting his relationship, like, I w why would you want to be with someone who's neglecting the relationship they're currently in to engage in this? this well, the girl is, is obviously just a beard, right? Or how do you say that thing? Like, the girl is obviously somebody to keep him secure from not right, being gay. Right, but, but, so. but it's still his girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? And he's yeah. neglecting her, it's still the action until he can take that label away from her, mm -hmm. he, all of these actions, are, it's a form of cheating to me. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's cheating. Yeah. So yeah. Are, are you comfortable being a mister? Are you? I, don't, I, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? So that's another thing you have to ask yourself, what are you willing to put up with? Is he really someone that you, that would be your perfect mate if you really dissected his behaviors mm -hmm. and really looked at who he is as a person? I mean, because, well, I, I guess it's just because just we know like, what he's going through. Whatever the excuse is, that doesn't mean that, you know, he can't eventually be, obviously, you know, this guy's not in the space to be in a relationship with him. So right. I don't think that's the question, if he should be with him or not. But it's like how to handle this, this situation right now with their friendship. Like, I think he knows right now, like, you know, I can't be with this guy. The guy ain't even saying he's gay, so that's not even right. really an option. But we know this guy is in a fucked up space and he's using this girl. To, for his own, you know, selfishness. But yeah, I mean, I, I think you have a conversation with him so you can at least put things on, you can at least be co-workers, right? Right, because, yeah, you, you're, you will be in each other's lives. Yeah, and he just needs to cool out. <laughs> I don't know what to tell, because it sounds like he's the one, the other guy is the one who's out of whack with his emotions and stuff, but... But you need to take your power back. Yeah. Because you're giving him all the power in the situation. You know, he won't give you breathing room. He's coming in and assaulting people you're talking to so he is holding all the cards in the relationship right. you need to take your power back take your life back and move forward without him in that same space yeah yeah not unless you're getting some sort of enjoyment of you not speaking to him and he keep 
Because I'm sure you're getting, you're obviously getting enjoyment out of the relationship as well. Yeah. Okay. So you have to see. Share are you ready to move on from that? You know, straight man crushing on you but scared to say it. I mean, I can see how that could be kind of fun. You know, it's yeah, a point, it, but like, it makes you feel good to know that this straight man yeah. wants me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I can understand that perspective, but in the end, it's, it's not going to yeah. end well. A friendship, any type of relationship with this guy right now, besides being a co-worker, I don't think it's healthy at all. So, that's our advice. Yeah. Hope you like it. Um, you guys, please keep asking us questions. And again, if you would like to ask us a question live person. on Ask One and G, so we can really get into the situation and really ask some questions. And, was, and I wish this guy would have been Yeah. Here, then, oh. This would have been a really good conversation. But yeah. if you ain't never scared... Send us a message in the Atlanta area and we can schedule something. All right, loveworks at wannang.com. That's loveworks at wannang.com. I hope that helped you, sir. This is going to be on my mind for a while. All right, <laughs> thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace.